what's up so in the event you want to run your air conditioning unit off solar powered only come let me show you how it's done Guys, so guys, so guys, this, as you can see, five year warranty on the compressor and it's a solar hybrid AC unit. So this unit is an 18,000 BTU and um, similar to the one that's at Pyramid Point in Ocho Rios, and we've done this installation a few months ago. This is actually on grid power only. So it's on JPS for those persons who are tuning in from Jamaica. It's on JPS power only. And what we're doing now, what we're doing now is actually setting up so that we can get it on solar. So we're getting the trenches dug, getting the pipes installed. And what we're gonna be doing is setting up around six to eight solar panels so around six to eight solar panels out that side to power that unit right there So, it's actually 5.33 in the afternoon, 5.33, but we have decided to not go this route because right now it's too low and from what we are seeing with the dogs around, from what we are seeing with how the grass is growing in this area, it makes sense putting this a bit higher so tomorrow we're gonna start with a different design what's up everyone welcome back it's a totally new day and what we have done we have these holes dug they are approximately two feet deep and there are 12 of them so what we're gonna do with this we're gonna have some galvanized poles placed or planted in these holes and then the solar panels will be mounted on top of these um, poles and they're going to be planted with concrete and um, also steel so properly reinforced so that in the event of a heavy um, downpour if there's heavy wind if there's a hurricane these panels won't move they'll just stay there so we have this project on the way and um, stay tuned. All right, so two major setbacks. One, it's raining. <laughs> and two, in making a trench, that trench from where the solar panels are gonna be placed back to where the solar AC will be well solar ac is positioned there already in making a trench we ruptured the main water supply to the building so now we're gonna have to get accessories and 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 stuff to get that pipe repaired uh, but hopefully the rain holds up and uh, we can get back out there but uh, we're gonna try and get this done today Just got everything that I needed from the hardware and I'm heading back to my location. The rain seems to be holding up right now, so that's good, that's good. By the time I get back, uh, there should be no rain. All right, guys, so as you can see, the sky is clearing up. 
the rain has eased they're fixing the pipe the place is getting dried again um, but the thing is we're gonna have to go back on the road we're gonna have to go to hardwares we're gonna have to check out the solar place and get a few items based on the fact that we're gonna be changing the design or changing the plan to where we have the solar panels to be placed so hardware and the solar place all right so we're driving in now we're at the location to pick up a few solar items or renewable energy items so we're at alternative energy plus so we're gonna pick up a few clamps a few rails all right so we get clamps need clamps and clamps and rails already here So it's after 6.30, 6.35 to be exact, and we're still here. So we're making some holes in the hollow sections. So what happened? The items arrived later than we were expecting. Galvanized holes, there weren't enough, so we had to resort to hollow sections. Those arrived late, but we're still here working and preparing for tomorrow. So bright and early tomorrow, what we wanna do is come we're gonna start cutting these hollow sections at the right length and then we're gonna have them planted and then pour concrete and reinforce with steel so that they are sturdy and then after that we can start mounting our solar panels but we're still here so unfortunate that it rained today and then the items that we needed arrived late but we're still here, still working, we're gonna get it done and it's gonna be beautiful. What's up everyone, it's a totally brand new day. So now our hollow sections, they're now being prepared to mount those solar panels. But one thing, we completed this pipe. So this pipe will be carrying the cables from where the solar panels are gonna be placed. Cables will be coming up here and terminated on these and these are your ports your mc4 ports and that's direct connection to the solar panel What's up everyone welcome it's another day day number four it's bright and sunny unfortunately yesterday we got held up a bit by the rain but it's now bright and sunny and we are now 90% complete so as you look behind me you see one row of our solar panels we have six being mounted one section is already completed and we have the next row now being erected so back again we are 98 percent complete if you look behind me the guys are almost done just some small adjustments are needed so all six panels are now mounted they're firmly and securely in place and we're doing this just before the rain begins so we still have a few small things to get done stuff like getting these cables drawn into these pipes 
And then as soon as that's done, then we can connect and test. Alright guys, so we're almost done, 99% complete. We have drawn in all the cables, we're now connecting them to the solar panels. That is almost done. And um, a little bit of info I didn't share, we're using these black panels. These are S Energy, rated at 325 watts each. So the unit, the 18,000 BTU, needs 1390 watts to operate. It is connected in a hybrid mode, so that means it's getting power from the solar panels and it's also getting power from the local grid. In our case, where I'm at, that means it's also connected to GPS. So, these six S Energy panels rated at 325 watts will give it 1950 watts in total. So, a little bit over 500 watts based on what the unit requires what's up guys it is what time is it it's 8 30 a.m saturday morning it's a brand new day we're here once again to test to make sure that this is providing all the power that the air conditioning unit the solar air conditioning unit on the inside needs so right now as you can see all the panels are brightly lit except for just the corner section of this one so we can safely say five of them are adequately illuminated or adequately getting sunlight at 8 30 a.m just one just that one right here what yeah it's all well lit and now what we're gonna do we're gonna test the open circuit voltage to see what we're getting from this setup and we're also gonna test the voltage with it on load with the air conditioning unit on So guys, as it is now, we're testing the open circuit voltage. We are getting 250 volts from that setup. Remember, one of the panels is getting a little bit of shading, but this is sufficient enough to power the unit. The air conditioning unit, this solar air conditioning unit requires, as you can see, it requires 100 to 380 volts DC. So 215 that we're getting right now is sufficient. All right, so what's up guys? This is gonna be exciting. This is the first time we're gonna turn on the air conditioning unit or solar powered air conditioning unit on solar power only. It's 8.40 a.m. I think by now all the panels are getting adequate sunlight. All right, so there we are. It's on 19 degrees Celsius. We're on 19 degrees Celsius. And all of that green that you're seeing represents green energy, represents solar power only. So 
know we're gonna test the voltage. And we are getting 185 volts. So that's with the unit running. It's at 19 degrees Celsius on the inside. Everything that we're getting in terms of power is being supplied by the solar panel set up on the outside. And we're getting 183 volts consistent right now with it loading. Minutes before 9 o'clock in the morning and as you can see that shading that we were experiencing earlier has now disappeared. So all six panels are getting adequate sunlight. Well not really, here's just a little shade in the top right corner. Just a little bit of shading right there. But our solar powered air conditioning unit is running effectively. 